Hi, Caroline, how you doing? All right, so we got the before and the after, and then I was taking a look at this. We weren't happy when, for, with your results. Decided to make a new poster with the same idea with different design. Uh, sure, absolutely. I also noticed that my brush illustration didn't look right with the overall theme. Took me days to perfect the brush the way I wanted it, but to look, the gradient tool was definitely my best friend. Yeah, definitely. That looks that looks fantastic there. That's really, really nice. Um one thing I want to let me let me just I want to jump in here real quick because I want to take a quick look at something. Okay, yeah. See those little fine developments right there where it's showing actually showing the hairs in the brush. You may want to consider increasing the contrast there because as we zoom out, you can see that, that disappears. And that's something you really wanted to take in, you really want to take into consideration in design poster design in general. So as we po approach poster design, one thing you really want to keep in mind is that the intent of that poster is to hang on a wall. Quite often, the viewer will see their first introduction to that poster is from across a room. So a couple of things that we, we, we really strive for in designing posters is one, adding a visual element that will pull the viewer in from across the room. Okay, I think you've got that. I think if the peace sign right here, I think works. Um, the other thing is to make sure that all of the elements in that composition are going to be visible or at least recognizable from a distance. And the reason I say that is because we've got a couple of contrast issues right here. This meet local artists and this free admission is problematic because as we zoom out, uh, which is not letting me do, that's just fine. So my computer's acting so strange, but as you can imagine, if you zoom out, this is going to start to fade into the background. So is this. So these wouldn't be recognizable from a distance. So you may want to consider an increase in the contrast associated with this typographic treatment and its background. Same thing can be said with the 2019 right there. That's not going to be able to be seen from a distance. So you might as well try to preserve all of the visual elements to be um, uh, uh, recognizable from a distance. Okay. Um, that said, uh, all right, let's go ahead and jump over here. So I think this piece is 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 good. I think it's it's good. I think that one there's one thing that I don't think is working. However, I don't think it's 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 uh, a pertinent part of the poster. So I think that we can change it and, and all will be well. And I think that is the relationship here where you're using this kind of substitution uh, to allow the viewer to see a T and an I here. And it, it's a good technique, and quite often it's very, very effective, but the situation has got to be almost perfect for this to work. I don't think this situation is perfect, and I think that you recognize that this situation isn't for perfect and attempted to rectify that by placing this piece of tape over the uh, index finger of the peace sign to create the T. Okay, that brings up another issue, and that issue is this. The first thing I thought of when I looked at this poster is, why is this piece of tape here? How is it, what is the function? What is the communicative intent? And what is the relationship to Artists Unite? Okay, and I looked at those, and I looked at them again, and I thought about it, and I can't come up with a connection. Therefore, the viewer is confronted with this situation of dealing with this piece of tape as it's as deciphering the origin of its intent. Okay, and the best I can come up with is the fact that yes, it is placed there to create the crossbar for the T. All right. I also think placing the tittle or the dot. By the way, the dot above an I is called the tittle. T I T T L E. I think placing the tittle above the uh, illustration, I think, again, is problematic because I just don't think that that substitution is strong enough for the viewer to look at this immediately and go, oh, yeah, artist's intent. Because what's going to end up happening subsequent, subsequently is the viewer's going to look at this and they're going to go, art, art, okay, the art is, uh, oh, okay, T, the, uh, okay, art, okay, it's artist's intent. Instead of looking at it and Boom, artist's intent. Get, oh, I scared my dog. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, he just jumped. Anyway, when I when I smacked my hand like that, my dog nearly jumped out of his bed. So anyway, so um, do you see what I'm saying? So you don't want to kind of distract the viewer from the basic and 
primary communication in hand. And I think this is doing that. I really do. It's a great technique. I think it's executed beautifully, but it, it's not working in the respect that it, I just don't think the substitution is strong enough for the viewer to look at this and immediately recognize this as artists. Did I say artists intent before? As artists unite. Okay, my recommendation here is this, is let's pull the peace sign out of the typography, typeset artists unite, okay, and then just leave the peace sign between. Okay, did you see what I'm saying? So it's, it's artists up top, unite, and then the peace sign in between. I would leave the peace sign alone. I, I wouldn't include that year there. And also, we've got this free admission that we want to talk about placement there as well. And anyway, watch your kerning right here. Okay, that's the space between letters. I think your kerning and this typeface is loose all the way around. I recommend reducing that space. That space is okay. That space could be reduced a little bit. This space right here could, could be uh, reduced as well as here and here. This seems to be okay. Then what you're going to do is, is keep this centered and center this because we're going to move that free admission. Meet local artists, artists unite, okay? Now, <clears throat> excuse me, so the piece side in here, which means you're going to have to reconfigure this somehow. As far as the illustration, I think the illustration is excellent. I, I, I really do. I think the illustration is really, really good. Um, one of the things I recommend in the illustration is, is I think that the fingers, honestly, I think the fingers are too long for the size of the fist. And the reason I say that is if we look at the way that these fingers would be configured in this type of situation, right? You can see that the fingers, the knuckles right here, are below the knuckles here, meaning that inherently these fingers would be longer. I would reduce this a little bit, make sure those lines kind of fall even with these knuckles, reduce the length of those fingers but i i do i think it's a little bit it's, it's a little uncomfortable because those fingers look so long okay um as far as everything else goes i think it, it, the the 21 and 22 august um somehow i would get this out of this position here and down here somewhere because you, free admission is not doesn't have a close relationship with the word unite or with artists unite for that matter. Free admission has a closer relationship with the date and the location, right, than it does with artists unite. So for that reason, we're going to use the principle of proximity to place this where it's most logically placed, and that is establishing a relationship with the date and the contact information. So um, that's it, really. I think other than that, I think it's a, it, I think it's a much more effective piece than this. Although you did get some great practice over here. So um, again, and so in summary, watch your contrast typographic. Watch your your proximity in terms of placing elements in an area that makes it logically connected with the, the surrounding elements. Um, try to pull the continuate, I'm sorry, the substitution out of here and just set that artist as traditional typesetting with the word artist, pull this, the uh, illustration out here you, uh, in between artists and unite and then center unite in the composition and just try to do some fine tuning. And I think you'll be just fine. Watch that typographic contrast is very important. All right, so those are my recommendations moving forward. Really great job, good re, re, uh, redesign. Definitely pointing in the right direction here. I think things are, are, are well. Oh, in terms of contrast as well, you're adding these little dots, which I think are interesting design elements in themselves. But again, there's not enough contrast here because the second you step away from this a little bit, and, and we can see it right here a little bit, which this would let me zoom out a little bit further. But the further you zoom out, the more you'll see these disappear. And the reason, of course, is because they're lacking contrast. So uh, again, watch your contrast, watch your proximity, watch the substitution attempts. Other than that, really, really fantastic redesign. I'm definitely liking the the the, uh, the techniques that you're using in terms of. Did I finish talking about the brush itself? Uh, in terms of making this more visible from a distance, I would consider adding black strokes and those those brush um, those those lines that are used to develop this, the brush, uh, the texture in the brush 
hair. So think about black and that. So just a, a increase a little visibility there. All right, nine minutes. Didn't want to do that. Wanted to be as thorough as I can, give you some really good ideas moving into completion. If you have any questions, comments, or if you would like any further clarification, please feel free to let me know. All right, great job. Thank you very much.